Welcome back, everybody. I am Zandrio, and we're back with more Tales of Mangeo. Now, uh, I, I went ahead and recorded an entire episode here, and for some reason, once I completed it, I came back out and I looked at my audacity and realized I had not even recorded my voice at all, so I'm going to have to do post-commentary on this one, which I have not done before, so this is going to be a new experience for me. Uh, anyways, I had, uh, last episode we, we were in the, uh, the maze. We completed the first floor of the maze, I believe, and we are about to go on to the second floor, so what I'm doing here is looking at all my gear, and I'm realizing that I had been, I had been looking at my gear wrong. This, this stat here changes changes the uh, changes damage by a certain amount I'm not sure when I'm gonna look at it but <laughs> this is the problem with post commentary so we got damage when the wearer hits six mind there and uh, damage when the wearer hits six arcane changes resistance penetration 25% percent temporal now the problem is I don't think I'm doing any temporal damage at all, so that does me no good. And, uh... I'm just digging through all my gear here, trying to find the, the proper gear to wear. This amulet here is going to be a lot better amulet for the physical tune I'm using. I'm, I'm, I'm not having uh, magical skills at all, so... I'm going to hold on to these other two weapons as well. This This one does... Uh, this one does fire damage. I might come across something that has fire resistance. Who knows? You know, it c could definitely come in handy. Or something that ha that's vulnerable to fire. This other one does a whole crap ton of poison damage. This is nature damage, poison damage, temporal damage as well. So it it might be it might be a pretty good weapon to hold on to as well. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to that one too. And uh, the hat I'm wearing, I believe. I, I think I'm gonna change that, or am I? I? I can't remember what the hell I did here. Anyways, I also have that scintillating crystal, which is a gray item. So obviously, it needs it needs it, it needs scryed. So we'll use this orb of scrying here. What do we got? The crystal radiates the power of the spell blaze itself. Awesome. That's uh. Look in our inventory and see what that actually does. It can be used to combine with a weapon, costing one power. So now what I'm going to do is try to put that on my weapon. Since it says it can be put onto a weapon, let's try to use it. Uh, yeah, there, there's no weapon here to put it on. So obviously I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I'm thinking, well, maybe, maybe the weapon I'm wearing. So let's take that off. Maybe that'll work, so we'll try to use the damn thing again. Nope. Still no dice. Apparently I just don't know how the hell to use that damn thing yet. Let's put my weapon back on here and, uh, and just uh, be done with that for now. All right, well, I think it's time to get the hell back to the maze. Make sure I got my daunting presence on here. Yep, yep, we're good to go. Let's go, come on. Get the hell out of town. What are you waiting for? All right, now we'll, we'll head on over to the maze. We'll, we'll get going here. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at my lives here. I've got three lives left. I've died once because I suck. Let's get the hell over to the maze and, and get going here. We'll head right, right over to the second floor. Get right there. Now, we have run up against a gelatinous cube already. Excuse me for that burp. That was pretty nasty. Anyways, resists 50, minus 50% cold, minus 50% light. Does that mean it's, it's, uh, does, does, does that mean it's actually, uh, weak to that? Because, because that's rather interesting. I didn't notice that last when I actually was playing. I, I didn't even notice that. So uh, I think I'm going to attack this thing any minute now. There we go. Kick its ass. And it split. It 
Split it in two. It's hitting me for acid damage. Uh, I'm noticing things when I'm watching back that I didn't quite notice when I was actually playing. And, and then there's a boss over there, which I didn't notice until till right now, obviously. We got a Minotaur of the Labyrinth, which is the boss. He is a big nasty mother. Uh, I, I was not, I, I really was not prepared for him when I was playing this. We'll throw a poison on him, a long range poison. You walk over that ant and kick that at, ant's ass before that Minotaur gets over here. See, th this post commentary is a bit weird because I, I know exactly what's going to happen. Oh no! I'm confused! Stupid, stupid confusion is horrible. Uh, I found out confusion sucks because I, I, I ended up trying to use a bunch of skills while I was confused and it ended up not working. Uh, I get into some serious trouble here, folks. I, I, I really do. I get into some serious trouble. Alright, Minotaur. Come at me. Come at me. Apparently, I'm very slow at this game. As, as, I'm, as I'm doing post-commentary here, I'm realizing, good lord, I'm slow at this game. Try, it's taking so long to decide what the hell to do. All right, click the infusion. There you go, buddy. Come on, click it. You're going to look at it for about an hour. <laughs> oh, uh, that that's right. I was I was explaining why why that that I had got comments on my videos about my infusion and that infusion like uh, uh removes mental effects and I need to get an infusion infusion that removes physical effects so I can get stuns taken off me. And, and stuff like that, because the physical effects are uh, a little more necessary to get rid of. Alright, are you ready to stun that Minotaur yet? There you go, he's stunned. Should be able to just smoke his ass now if you know what you're doing. But, I don't know what I'm doing, so... Let's just watch. Watch and learn from my mistakes here. I'm, d I'm comparing the two poisons, realizing that the one I already put on him was much better than the other one, but I put the other one on him anyways. And uh, now I'm I'm thinking I wanna I wanna kill that little dude, but then I just realized that my my AOE skill just used a whole crap ton of my stamina, and I don't really have that much stamina, so I'm thinking that AOE skill might not be a good thing to use while I'm fighting a boss. Now, why the hell didn't I kill that little Minotaur to get its damage off of me? That's what I don't know. That's that's what I should have been doing there. I've now been confused. And my health is going down. i got three things on me at once. So now I'm scared and I'm trying to run the, run the hell away. I'm trying to reduce the damage I'm taking. Uh, things are not looking good for me. I'm stunned. Now I'm half dead. My, my regen won't come off cooldown. It's still on freaking cooldown. It's just uh, I'm I'm getting desperate here now. It's like all of a sudden everything starts looking scary. All this crap on me. I'm stunned. Can't use my specials. I can't use my regen. Should I retreat? What should I do? I have no school skills to use. We'll just keep attacking. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's definitely not looking good. I've been stunned again already. <laughs> no, th this this is not a good situation to be in, folks. No! Not a good situation. Alright, I, I killed the little Minotaur. But now I got a snake on me, too. I've got 23 life. Oh, and there is our second death. Such a freaking shame. It was all my fault, too. Because I, 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 I didn't try to... Uh, See, I let myself get surrounded by too many things, and I, I didn't... I got stunned, and then I was perma-stunned until I was dead. So now I've revived, and it's time to get revenge on this stupid Minotaur. I, I think I think I'm going to start by stunning him, because that would be the smart thing to do. Yes, there we go. I've been blinded! We'll just retreat for a second while I'm blind here. Hopefully not into 50 other critters. And now I'm confused again. This, this Minotaur is, is just a huge, huge pain in the ass. Really. 
Come on, kick his ass. There you go. Use the poison on him. No, the the left hand poison not that good. The right one's the good one. See, the left one's 41.76 poison over six turns. The right one is 21 point something damage per turn, for seven turns. So the so that one's a lot better. That's that's the one I'm gonna use here. I'm pretty sure. Either that or I'm just. Oh, I was trying to use it, and I had confusion on me, and it didn't work. And now I'm still stunned. I mean, this boss is really, really messing with me. Now, I'm looking at my stun and realizing it says that all my damage is reduced by 70%, and I'm thinking that that might affect my poison, too. So I don't want to use the poison until the stun is gone. Then I go ahead and use the poison on him. Which is doing some good damage to him along with my melee. He's 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 just he's dying pretty good this time. It's not not that big of a deal. Not too big a problem. Stunned again. The constant stunning of this boss is really, really kind of annoying. So that stun should be falling off any second now and I can heal heal myself. So that's that's good. And I've been blinded again, but I, I don't dare go more farther south because I'm afraid there's going to be other critters. <laughs> Just running running north for a bit here, trying to get the blindness and whatnot off me. There we go. Take that. Into the light. Completed. Well, I've killed the boss. Now, now uh, I'm looking at my lives here, and for some reason, I've got two lives left, and it shows a minus one. Time's diet is two. With a plus one. Not sure what the hell the plus one and minus one mean, but, you know, whatever. Got a battle axe. Oh, a whole crap tons of loot here. Battle axe of vileness. No, I, I can't I can't compare with what I'm wearing till I actually pick the damn things up. Which kind of sucks. So I'm going to have to actually pick everything up and then go back into my bags and compare the crap to what I'm wearing. Torque of charged psionic shield. Sets up a psionic shield, reducing all lightning and blight damage by 24 for six turns. Now that seems pretty random to me. I mean, what, what does lightning and blight have to do with each other, really? And why would they both be a stat together on an item? Makes no sense. Whatever. Let's look at what we've looted here. We've got an iron battle axe, which has a, a whole bunch of red when I compare it. This, this battle axe of erosion is one I was already had. I had saved that. Still, battle axe of violence is not that good. Bunch of nonsense. Bunch of nonsense. That's a one-handed one. Don't need that. Leather belt of the mind. Crap. Crap. I'm not a spellcaster. Now these gloves of strength. You get accuracy, physical power. I mean, uh, strength, physical saves. Why the hell am I not wearing those? Why am I wearing some other piece of crap gloves? You see, uh, I need to be wearing these gloves of strength. That's pretty silly that I'm wearing some mind power gloves. What the hell am I thinking? Come on, put the gloves of strength on. There you go. So I was wearing those because they were yellow. They were fancy. They had, a, they had a fancy color. When you got a fancy color, you gotta wear them. No, that's not how it works. You gotta actually look at the stats. Oh, yes. We have a, we have a gray item. This heavy torque appears to draw nearby matter towards it. Fancy. Take a look at that sucker. Telekinetic core. It can be used to activate psionic pull. Pulls all force towards you in radius of 5 while dealing 25 physical damage. That's fancy as hell. I, th I think I should wear that over what over the, the, the silly thing I'm wearing. What the hell am I wearing? Something that gives infravision. Oh, it's my pickaxe. It's my pickaxe. Alright. We'll, we'll use that instead of the pickaxe. 
We'll have to make sure to remember that. If I ever switch to my pickaxe to dig something, I better remember to switch back to that telekinetic core, because that thing's pretty badass. Pretty damn... Oh, it, it deals 31 damage, not 25. Apparently it scales with, with one of my stats. So... Throw it on a bar there. Oh, it's already on a bar. Now, did I loot out of that chest yet? Did I loot anything out of that chest? Can't remember. Oh, the damage increases with your mind power, so it's only 31. It's not going to go up much because it increases with mind power. And my mind power is not going to be that high, I'm afraid. I've got a linen robe of Engelwyn. I'm sure that's junk. I'm not a spellcaster. What do we got down there? Jelly! White jelly! Is is, is that grape jelly? Like, uh, there, there, there is white grapes, right? White grapes and purple grapes. The, uh, the white grapes make white jelly? Ooh, the ring of pilfering! Don't believe I have a ring yet. Now, I'm sitting here looking at my bags going, Where the hell is my stinking ring? How come I can't find it? I know I just looted that damn thing. Not realizing it's 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 sitting there under my feet because I'm an idiot. Where's my ring? Where's my ring? See, this is the the thing about post commentary. I I I remember what I was doing here, and I remember feeling like a fool as soon as I as soon as I closed my bags here and realized it was still on the ground. I felt like a total idiot. How long are you gonna look for the ring, you idiot? You haven't even picked it up yet. There you go. Pick it up. Good job. Now look at the ring. See what it is. Can be used to activate disengage. Which is awesome. Jump away four grids from your target. It gives armor penetration defense. That is a freaking fantastic ring. That thing is just wonderful. Definitely going to be wearing it. Now we got a little orc to kill there. Smack it around a little bit. I'm I'm too busy just ogling that ring, I, I guess, to 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 fight yet. I gotta ogle that ring for a good hour because it's so cool. There we go, smack him around there, buddy. Kicked his ass. So there's all kinds of loot in this level, on on this floor. It's it's just loaded up in loot. Use my wand on that dude. I've I've got a wand that I haven't been using. You know what? That freaking wand. I I put on that wand and I think it just took off. My 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 cool uh, item that I just looted, and I didn't realize this, and I'm pretty sure I played the rest of this episode with the wand equipped. So, uh, yeah, watching this back, yep, I have the wand on now, cause I'm an idiot, not realizing how things work. But I'll have to make sure at the beginning of the next episode to put that damn proper item back on, because I should not be running around with that stupid wand. Whatever. So I'm looking at this belt. And this belt has got physical power. It gives me some resistances. But my mighty girdle gives me a whole bunch of carry weight. It's a lot better. Oh no! There was a dog in that box! Amelabeth, the wolf. I should be able to just kick this wolf's ass. It's a mangy dog. Shaggy dog. It's lean, mean, and shaggy. It stunned me already. Damn things. I think I'll have to, I, I think I'll try out this ring or whatever it was that lets me leap back, which is awesome. Tried that out. I think that might have saved me from a little bit of damage actually. Except for the the dog just charged me is what happened. I, I leapt back and then the dog charged me, which which really sucked, so it didn't really save me from anything. But I tried. I tried. See, what am I looking at here? I'm looking at stuff to use and deciding not to use them. Am I going to charge him? Yes. Heal myself up. And now just now just pummel this dog in, into a bloody pulp there. I mean, he, he's just ready to be pummeled into a bloody pulp, really. There you go. Just smack him around a little bit. He dropped a trollish poem. 
Club, 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 grab some grub. When hunger hits, me likes to club. Little halfling, furry feet, smash his brains, tasty meat. Skinny elf, eyes so blue, crush his bones, make elf stew. Hairy dwarf, smells like dirt, cook him long or stomach hurt. Stupid human, has no fear, looks surprised when me eats his ear. Club, 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 grab some grub. When hunger hits, me likes to club. This is a wonderful troll poem. You know, just a fantastic troll poem. Oh, look at that, a caustic longsword of torment. See, that, that thing should, could be freaking fantastic if it was a two-handed weapon. Apparently, it's a, it's a one-handed weapon. Generally, a longsword in video games are almost always a one-handed weapon. When in actual real life, the longsword was a two-handed weapon, I'm afraid. You know, the longsword is like freaking, uh, I don't know, what, what, like a freaking three or four foot long blade. In reality, those were two-handed swords. But this is a video game, so whatever. Let's look at that cloak we just got. It is not as good. Not as good. Throw it away. Sell it. Whatever. Blighted soil. We got landscape here. When you stand on the blighted soil, it gives this blighted soil buff. It reduces your disease resistance, but it gives all attacks a 40% chance to infect the target with a random disease. Which is, is very interesting. Like, the landscape in this game, you can stand on it. And it, it gives you different buffs and stuff, which is actually pretty damn cool if you ask me. I kind of like that. Let's, let's kill that block of cheese and the snake. I, the, the, the cheese died quick. Uh, obviously it wasn't the cheese, it was something. But it looked like cheese to me, so that's what I'm going to call it. Let's check out that armor up there. What was that armor? It's, it's junk. Loot the chest! Loot the chest! What's in there? Oh my god! Oh my god! Venom drakes, minotaurs, thieves, all kinds of crap. Get the hell out of there, phase door! So I phase door and I've been blinded, which really, really sucks, because now I have no idea what the hell's going on. I haven't been over here before, so I don't know if there's more monsters or what. I'm, I'm in a just a just a bad situation here, so I'm ju I'm just gonna kind of run for a bit here until blindness falls off. Luckily, I didn't get surrounded on all sides. So, I want to kill all these damn drakes now. Just just start pummeling them. I, I don't want to kill that drake that's right to the left of me because I don't want to let the minotaur in yet because I'm afraid he might hit harder. So, we'll kill the other guys. I think I better heal myself though. It'd be a good idea. Now the Minotaur has come through. Got a Minotaur and a Thief. Can I stun him? Yeah, I stunned him. No problem. Minotaur is stunned. It's time to focus on the Thief. I think I might poison the Minotaur. I can't remember what I did here. Yeah, I think I stop and poison the Minotaur while the Thief is half dead for some reason. But that wasn't too bad of a fight. We kicked their ass real good. We'll just loot up all this, all this junk here. More junk, white stuff. I mean, what 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 do I want with that white stuff? A blood-soaked pair of dwarven steel boots. Now those look freaking fancy. We got to take a look at them. Let's see, We've got armor penetration, physical crit chance, physical power, armor. Uh, the fatigue is a bit worse, but that's all right. And uh, we don't do mind damage anymore. But uh, those are fantastic boots. I should definitely be wearing those. And uh, what's the armor? What's the armor? Oh, we gotta kill a jelly first. Blueberry jelly. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta kill a blueberry jam. Now check that out. More blue armor. We gotta take a look at that. Ah, uh, crap. It's junk. The stuff I'm wearing is so much better. So much better. I think this is mostly explored now. 
Oh, we got some frost drakes there. The, the, those cold drakes have 100% cold resistance, 60% blight resistance. Uh, I really like how the how all the resistances show when you mouse over things. It, it shows you, you can you can get a good idea for uh, for how you're gonna how you're gonna take these things on. I mean, w once I play this game a bit more and I really learn what all the st stats are and what they do, it, it's gonna make it just very very nice. I love all the feedback the combat gives you. Oh, looky there. We got a mind star, and there's a diary page. I really enjoy these diary pages and stuff. The story is pretty interesting. Lore found. I'm having so much fun. Probability travel is making this trip a breeze. You should have seen the look on that bandit's face when I came out one wall, disappearing through another, came around behind him. <laughs> I still remember Archmage Terillion's lecture about the spell. Probability effects can be employed for ease of use, but be worthy of relying on them. With ease of use comes ease of mind, and a weakening of one's will and concentration. Soon one will find oneself in a situation of risk, bereft of normal judgment and danger, and low on the mental resources to save oneself. Heed thee well. Bah! What tosh! How dumb does he really think I am? Besides, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having an adventure. I saw something. I don't know what it was, but it was big and shadowy. But when I tried chasing it, I got lost. Hmm, maybe I just imagined it. No, I'm sure it must be something cool and exciting. I just have to keep exploring. Yeah, we've got we've got some kind of a a newbie mage out here, thinking he's just thinking he's just the shit, thinking he's just uh, you know the best best thing ever king of the world. I, I, I do believe he's going to get in over his head. Salamira the rogue. Arcane resistance, lightning resistance, blight resistance, 6% to all resistances. Oh, that's interesting. Stronger than a cut purse. This thief has been promoted. Uh, I don't believe he should be too big of a threat. Just just smack him around a little bit. He's a little little rogue. Little rogue. Warriors should be able to beat up rogues without a problem. In the the the, the trinity of the uh, standard uh, warrior rogue mages. Rogues beat up mages. Mages beat up warriors. Warriors beat up rogues. It's like paper, rock, scissors. Warriors the rock. Rogue is the scissors. No. Yeah, rogue is the scissors, mage is the paper. It, it makes sense too, because you know, mage mage's spells are on paper. It's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of interesting. I'm not sure if that's exactly how this game works, but a mana surge rune. Activate this rune to unleash a mana surge on yourself, increasing mana regeneration by 696 percent over 10 turns, and instantly restoring 35 mana. Also, when resting. You will regenerate 0.5 mana per turn. So that's that's cool. It's a thing you can uh, scribe onto yourself that gives you mana regen, which I don't have mana, so I have no reason to use that. But I've read that uh, if you start any character in this game, uh, generally they don't start with mana regen, and you have to find a way to regen your mana. So that is how to regen it. So I think we're done here quest has been completed. We're done with the maze. Time to head on back to town. And, uh, yeah, what's the next quest we have? We did the maze in the old forest. The next quest is the sandworm lair. So, I, I think that's where we end this episode here. Uh, we did pretty good. We cleared out the maze, killed the minotaur, and, uh, next episode, we are going to hit the sandworm lair. And hopefully... I can actually record my commentary while I'm playing so I don't have to do this weird post-commentary that I'm not sure I'm very good at. But I hope you guys enjoyed that anyway, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.